kind of a fluke because through scheduling, I literally have nothing I have to do. The amount of days when there's nothing I have to do is like never, so I, I don't know what to do. I've got a few ideas of how to spend my first day exploring Nashville, and here's my first one. So one of the things that I'm trying to do while I'm sort of just out here with my day of nothing is I figured I'd do some geocaching. Heather and I are gonna do like an entire ShareSpark episode about what geocaching is and how the process works and how it ties into digital literacy. But for now, it basically means I'm just going to find stuff that people hit. So people can hide these little caches like all over the world and then use an app to kind of go on like a scavenger hunt and find them. And some are super small and you just sign a little like note and others actually have things in them. You can take stuff, you can leave stuff. It's super cool. It's a really fun thing to do. It's a super cool community and there's usually caches hidden pretty much everywhere. Thai food, go-karts, peas, carrots. I'm staying here, which is the Gaylord Opryland Resort in Nashville, Tennessee. And I don't know exactly how to feel about it, so I feel like I should show you a little bit about it. Simple word is excess. It's objectively gorgeous and beautiful, but I can't tell if it's this beautiful all-inclusive resort that should be enjoyed or if it's a monument to man's arrogance. Thousands of rooms and then these giant, what I call pleasure domes, what I've heard other people call biodomes, and I'll show you what those are. This is one of the pleasure domes. This is actually the smaller of the two, but I was outside completely freezing a minute ago where I couldn't even move my fingers because my hands were numb. And now like, you could be in shorts and a t-shirt and be totally fine. This is the big giant pleasure slash biodome. It's constantly like a balmy 70 degrees. There's palm trees everywhere and tropical plants. And I totally get that because in a place where it's really hot and humid in the summer, or really cold and freezing in the winter, having somewhere like this that's constantly the same comfortable temperature really makes sense to draw people in. Although at the same time, it's kind of like, does it actually matter that I'm here because this is not unique to Tennessee at all. The thing that keeps the Tennessee Southern charm going is the fact that all the interior architecture in this dome is very like Southern colonial, but doesn't sound like I'm poo-pooing this because the design, the engineering, the execution is absolutely incredible. I just never know how to feel when I'm confronted with like this much excess. 